Hello everyone, and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be responding to an open tag by Georgia Adventurer, and the open tag is EEC Pens, and with that, let's get into the video. So the first pen here is the Sharpie S Gel. This is a disposable gel pen with a really nice quick drying ink, and it also has some water resistance to it. I carry this mainly in a backpack, and not much in the pocket. So, and the reason the clip is broken on this particular one is I was messing with it one time, kind of springing it, and it snapped on me. So that's why that's broken, not because I w it was in the pocket or anything. So yeah, just a nice inexpensive gel pen. And it is disposable, so that's kind of nice. Just kind of throw it in, just throw it in the backpack, and yeah, just a great either main pen for taking notes and stuff, or just a backup. This next one is the Zebra F301. I used to carry this one a year or two ago, and it, I really like it. It's got a plastic grip, metal body, plastic inside. It has a decent click, not too bad, but not bad for like a $5 pen, $3 pen, 3 to $5 pen, depending on where you buy it from. It has the Zebra there. So yeah, I used to carry this on my pocket, and then I even bent the clip so it didn't attach as well. Yeah, it's a really good pen and served me well. Just not a not a pen I really carry anymore. This next one is the Civivi C Quill. I have a video on this one if you want to go check it out. This is kind of a tactical pen with a glass breaker on the end there. It has a lot of nice texture to it. Really enjoy carrying this pen in the pocket. I don't really use the clip on it. I just and I don't really use clips on pens anymore. I'd prefer just throwing them in the pocket and having them down in there in the pants pocket, yeah. Has a nice grip on it, really nice action. And the refill is a nice smooth ballpoint. And I forgot to say, I think this is a nice smooth whoops, spring fell out. But a nice smooth ballpoint refill as well and gel pen if I didn't mention that. Uh, this is the Schmidt uh, P900 refill and the medium ballpoint refill. So yeah. Get that spring back in there. Yeah, just a good, a good fun pen, with, especially with the fidget factor. You can do this a lot. It's a nice solid pen too. It's a metal body. So yeah, this one right here is the Fisher Space Pen. This is probably one of my favorite size-wise, but not my favorite with the refill. The, ref the Fisher Pen refill is the is the medium one. It's the pressurized refill. It's okay. It doesn't write the best. It's a little gummy, and you have to apply some pressure, and it skips a lot. But not a bad size of a pen. This is it's just a, you uh, cap it and get a full size pen. Basically, looks really classy, and the patina on it looks really nice as well. Yeah, nice design of a pen. Wish the refill was better. But yeah, I carry that one. And in fact, I carry that one with this one. So basically, this is my main pen, and this is as kind of a backup, or if I'm using paper that, or writing on paper that is not fountain pen friendly. This one right here is the Caveco uh, Lily Put. I'm blanking on the name there. Yeah, this is a nice small pen, which is actually about the same size. It's a little bit shorter than the. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than the Fisher there. But it is thicker because of the nib and is thicker than a ballpoint refill. Whoops. Oh. oh, that's gonna roll. Yeah, that's thicker than a ballpoint. Screw on cap. And then you can post it for a full size pen. And the threads are a little finicky on this one. Yeah, there you go, full size. You get a full size writing pen basically, you're almost full size. The it's an extra fine nib. It's a little scratchy and sometimes it's hard to find the uh uh sweet spot with it when writing, but overall a really nice pen. It drops in the pocket really well, I barely notice it's there. And just that green color is really nice. Yeah, have an unboxing of this one if you want to go check it out. It's a really nice pen that has become one of my favorite carries of as of late. And this one is one of the pens I've carried the most. This is the Caveco Sport in the limited edition olive green. This is also a fountain pen. 
And these both of these fountain pens take the standard international short cartridge, and Caveco makes some of those. Right there, there's the nib. It's a fine nib. And this one writes really well. I've heard some people say that Caveco nibs are hit or miss. Uh, but both of these write really well, so I've had good luck with Caveco nibs. So yeah, so this is a plastic body, so it's nice and lightweight. And I have accidentally dropped this pen a few times, and it stood up to that, so wouldn't recommend dropping it because it ink goes everywhere inside the cap but I mean it stood up to some light dropping so not too bad so yeah I think that's gonna do it for now that's all my EDC pens that I carry or have carried and currently I do yeah currently I carry all of these except this one they're all really nice pens couldn't go wrong with either, any of them and before I end here, I just wanted to show you a few of the notebooks I've carried. This is uh, just an Exceed kind of journal, pocket journal that I used to carry. And I also carried the Traveler's Company notebook. It's a leather cover with notebook inserts on the inside. You have this little, if I can get it, it has rubber bands and stuff and rope, or not rope, but a string that keeps them in there. And you have a nice flap that goes over the cover. I like those notebooks, but they've kind of gotten a little thick for me sometimes. Uh, especially as of late, I've been going with thinner notebooks. I've carried this one. This is just a pen and gear notebook. You can get these in a three pack for like two bucks. And lately, this has been my carry. The Field Notes Desert Warrior series from Blade HQ. This is my first field notes and I've been liking it so far. Really enjoying it. The paper handles pretty much handles uh, fountain pens fairly decently, especially for what I'm using it for, just to everyday notes. Okay. Whoa. Uh, I'm sorry that was washed out too much. I have my I have something set on the camera. But yeah, it's a really good notebook, and I've also used the Bright in the Rain notebook as well. That one's okay. The paper, it's nice to have the water, uh, water resistant quality, but it's not something I really need, so uh, I haven't really carried that one too often. It is nice though. It's a nice notebook. But yeah, that's going to do it for now. Thank you, Georgia Adventure, for this great open tag. And until next time, keep your pens filled and your knife sharp. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.